Hi, everybody. Teacher Amy here. Um, I am a brand new Cam Twist user. I literally just downloaded it this morning and I haven't even used it in class yet. So I was trying to play around with it and kind of figure out how everything works today. Um, I am an avid Google Slides user. I use it for my class slides and for like my props and stuff and for also for my rewards. Um, I have just been using them on my phone and just kind of holding them up to the, to the camera or on my iPad, which has worked fine, but I really kind of wanted to get into this whole cam twist thing. Um, so I decided to check it out. Uh, one thing that I hadn't seen any info for yet, and maybe I missed it. I don't know. Maybe this entire video is common knowledge, so I apologize if it is, but um, I wasn't really sure how to do the tap and reveal rewards. So I had figured out how to do the find a star ones and the slides, but the tap and reveal was um, kind of a mystery to me. So I played around with it a little bit today and I figured out how to do it. And I thought that I would share it with anybody who didn't already know how to do it. Um, first of all, big shout out to Megan Locke, Beth Pender, any of you Google Slide contributors, you ladies have saved my life. Um, I just love the Google Slides, especially the tap and reveals. So um, over here, I have my Cam Twist um, window open and I've got my Google Drive over here with the rewards and etc. I'm gonna use Dress Dino today. So I'm just gonna open it up. Now in this view here, um, you can scroll through the slides and there's a lot of different uh, dinos on here. Oh, there's new ones. I haven't even seen these two on the bottom. They're so cute. Um, so I'm gonna use the circus one today. So make sure you choose the one that you want before you um, do what we're gonna do next. Now, if I go into present mode from here, it's going to take me full screen and then I wouldn't be able to see the classroom or my uh, cam twist window or whatever. So I don't want to do that. Um, but I also don't want to just scroll through the screens here because when you click to the next slide, it, it shows the full dyno with all of the clothes on, which I want to um, do it you know, piece by piece. So the trick is to go to the little down arrow next to present and go to presenter view. You don't need this pop up that comes here. But now the entire window is taken up by the reward slide, which is perfect. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to desktop plus. I'm going to pivot and then do everything that I would normally do with the desktop um, pip. And there's my settings. Um, I'm going to confine to the dress dino window. I'm going to select the area. I would normally have this a lot smaller, but for tutorial purposes, whoops, we are going to just leave it kind of large today. And I'm done selecting and I'm gonna move it. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna move it to the corner. Sorry, this is not perfect. There. And now when I am ready to, um, you know, bring up the rewards, um, it's gonna make my preview window disappear. I don't know why it does that, but I click over here and then I just literally click on the window and there's Dino. And then when I go back here, oh, there's Dino. And then I can click again. And now Dino has clown hair, Dino has clown hair. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, I just really wanted to be able to use the tap and reveals because I really like those a lot. And so do my students. So that is how I figured out how to do it. So um, if you are a newbie like me, a very newbie, like less than 24 hour newbie, uh, you can do this too. So um, I hope that that helps anybody out if you needed to work those tap and reveals into your classroom. Happy teaching.